With delight, I ask Valerie Smith of Arkansas, receiving diplomas of both weddings and funerals, and nominated for this honor by her instructors to share her thoughts with us as distinguished representative of her 2010 Sullivan graduating class. Valerie. I tried to do all of my uh, exercises I learned yesterday, but I'm not sure they're working, so please bear with me. <laughs> do you know I can no longer look at a movie or watch a movie or read a book without thinking about the stages? <laughs> to the dismay of my husband, I will declare this is clearly the departure stage. <laughs> Next will come the initiation. Hmm, I wonder what will happen in the return. Today, I can no longer look at a person without wondering what is their story. Joseph Campbell appropriately titled his book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. We look in this room and we've traveled through oceans and rivers and lakes. We have journeyed, we've had our characters shaped, we have been influenced by our culture, life exposures, and the individual paths that we've taken. Collectively, we experience a wellspring of emotion that I feel right now. <laughs> we have learned that we are all heroes, each with our own story to be told. Today, I am honored to share my story of how I was called to this journey named Celebrancy. It is through my story that I hope to pay tribute to my inspirational teachers, our wonderful foundation, and most especially to you, my fellow classmates. My introduction to celebrancy began three years ago when Gary and I were planning our wedding. We spoke to a local justice of the peace who without hesitation said, he really didn't like doing weddings, but if he had to, he would. <laughs> Clearly, he wasn't a celebrant. Uh-oh. As fate would have it, a day before we were leaving on our trip, on a whim, I made a quick search on the internet and was brought to a website named Weddings by the Sea. There I found a wonderful woman named Alma Rose, a former graduate of CF&I. She beautifully described her mission as a celebrant and offered wedding venue, ritual, and vow suggestions. My eye was drawn to the venue, Butterfly Beach, and to the ritual of the sand dollar blessing. Sometimes things are set in motion that we don't completely understand. But when you feel this fascinating thrill go through your body, you know you're onto something. You see, Alma was the name of my deceased grandmother. After her death, my family picked the symbol of the butterfly to represent her. My grandfather was the first person to teach me the legend of the sand dollar. Coincidence? I don't think so. I immediately booked our wedding, and thanks to our soulful celebrant, we had a ceremony that was rich in symbolism and reflected our love and our story. During our stay, we had the perfect opportunity to get to know Alma, and she said to me, you know, you would make a great celebrant. Why don't you call the Celebrant Foundation and Institute? At that time, I was gainfully employed and didn't make the call. Shame on me. <laughs> However, two years later, my departure took place. On the heels of losing my job and struggling with feelings of inadequacy, I was grasping for something to hold on to. I had a lot of time for self-reflection, and I realized I wanted to do something that would make a difference in life, to give back to my community and fill my heart with joy. It was then I heard the soft voice say, celebrate. <laughs> now is the time. My call to adventure began when I contacted the Celebrant Foundation and Institute. I spoke to a very lovely Cindy Reed and a very enthusiastic Charlotte Ouellette. 
Hmm. They described the Institute's mission and the curriculum, and I decided this was certainly a great place that where I could learn and be skilled at making a difference to honor and pay tribute to those seeking a personal, life-changing ceremony. I never would have imagined when I first enrolled at CFNI the flood of cha life-changing events that were set in motion. You see, this is the first time I had been back to school in 30 years. So I figured a chat class. How bad can that be? <laughs> I could wet my feet and it would be okay. Or so I thought. As I read through the course requirements during independent study, the very lovely Cindy Reed suddenly became the great taskmaster. <laughs> And Van Jeanette actually became something loathsome. <laughs> Refreshing waters came from the inspiration and guidance of my treasured teachers, Peggy Lewis, Lamire Martin, and Marta Adubato, along with the insightful and sometimes comical comments from my classmates. You know who you are. <laughs> you are my amulets, protecting me and giving me the power to continue on my journey. My initiation continued through the Fundamentals chat class. Our class was so empowering. I experienced a monsoon of emotion as we delved into symbolism, becoming so aware of the sheer beauty of my classmates when we openly and shared our symbols. Mine was the sand dollar. It was, and the butterfly, the symbols that led me to and fed me through my transformation. Yet, I could not have imagined a hearth, a music clef, a zebra, a glass box, unveiling such heartfelt and personal stories. I was instantly connected, and I was reminded, we all have a story to tell. Each of Fundamentals class unleashed a whole new level of understanding in ceremony and ritual. I was touched deeply to the bone, mindful how sadly we've been departed as a society, as a society marking life-changing events, that is, <laughs> how we thirst for recognition, healing, and encouragement, and most importantly, celebration. As we progressed from theory to practice, we heard from the, our esteemed wedding and funeral veterans, Dory Bless, Linda Berger, Jesse Blum and April Beer, who shared a real a wealth of real life from the trenches and streams of practical advice, tried and tested advice, actually. I'm proud to be trained by so many accomplished members of the faculty in ceremony writing, creation, and performance, and to have a toolbox of valuable inter inf interview information, contract, and business materials because of their willingness to share. I remember the first time I saw the Grand Canyon. I was awestruck and mesmerized by the empowered by its grandeur and vastness. The great canyons have been shaped over the time of the rush of the mighty rivers, and the mighty rivers have been fed by the falling rain. We, too, have been shaped by our magnificent and inspiring instructors, the wealth and abundance of the course material, and by the support of our foundation. We have been made strong by this knowledge. We have been given the skills and the abilities and the creativity to make a difference, to have been changed to bring this inspiring message back to our communities. With the continued help of the Celebrant Foundation and our family, we will succeed. I am honored to have been called to this adventure and so pleased to return to our communities, stepping through the threshold as certified life cycle celebrants, our graduating class of 2010. Thank you.